We're now looking at the agaves. This is where we start. So many times we're, we're so focused on the process of how we make tequila. Is it a, a brick oven, an orno? Is it an autoclave? Is it a diffuser? God forbid. But we're really focused on the process and that's super important. There's so many different things that you can do in the process to get that flavor profile, but it starts in the fields. Behind me is a mature agave. If you can see, it looks like an asparagus is shooting up from it. That is the Quixote. That Quixote is going to grow. If we allow it to grow, it will grow. But as it grows, it needs to take the energy of the agave plant. And eventually it's gonna take over the agave plant and it's gonna kill that plant. It's, the plant's gonna sacrifice itself so that it can shoot up this Quixote. So a lot of farmers, they cut them they don't let them grow. And I get it because they don't want to sacrifice the agave. And as it's growing though, it's eventually gonna to bloom to where at night, bats will come and they will, they will take it and they will spread it around. So for the future of these agaves, for the health of these agaves, it's actually very important to let these Quixotes grow to full maturity. Not all of them, and a lot of tequila producers and farmers are saying, hey, we're going to take X percentage, maybe 5% of all of our agaves, and we're gonna let them grow to full maturity so that we can shoot up that Quixote so that we have a stronger foundation for the future of the agave. But if you're out in the field, look for them. They're pretty cool, they're pretty easy to see, and like I said, they look like a giant asparagus.